Hey guys, there's a few really good leads for side Easter eggs on Blood of the Dead, and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff we've been working on so that hopefully people can start helping and hopefully we can get this figured out. So there's a very interesting door that you see here in Spawn, and this door eventually opens up when you do the main Easter egg to let you into the boss fight. The way this door is structured and coded, it opens up and there's another door just like it. It has the same coding, same structure and everything, and it opens as well. When I say coding, I mean it's scripted to open, and this other door is scripted to open also. I'll take you guys over to the door I'm talking about. If you make your way up to the infirmary and around this corner, you'll see this green door here with this wooden barrier. This is the door I'm talking about. This door is scripted to completely open, and we will be walking in the room that's behind it. There used to be a glitch that you could do where you could get into this room, and I think Serial Glitchers has it on their channel, and yeah, this is definitely a secret room, and there are things in it. Before I show you all the things that are in the secret room, I wanna take you over to the Warden's Attic. Now, this is part of the main Easter egg where you break open that wall and come inside the Warden's Attic and see him sitting in the electric chair. Before you trigger the step to open that doorway right there, there is hardly anything in this room. You can see some papers laying around, some of the hoses going to the electric chair, but nothing has really spawned into this room yet before you trigger the step. And that seems to be what they're doing with this map and with Black Ops 4. They're leaving things empty and they don't actually render in or are put into the map until you trigger that area. And that seems to be the same case for the secret room in the infirmary. So I'm gonna take us into the room and show you guys what's all in there right now. And this is before this door actually gets triggered to open. You can just see some shadows and some candles in the corner. There seems to be a table-like structure that's got the candles on it, then a medical table, obviously a stool, and then in this corner right here, there's like a large cabinet or something. I wanna give a big shout out to the No Thumbs crew. We went into this room, had a slumber party overnight and worked on ways to figure out what was in this room. We were throwing wraith grenades and stuff like that. And we were actually able to see some shadows with those methods. Shout out to Your Next Nightmare. He figured out this whole wraith grenade thing where he could throw it in really specific spots and start getting the shadows of the furniture that's in this room. So straight ahead, you can see the medical table and then on the left, you can see that stool just a little bit, but in the left corner, there's a pretty big cabinet with some shelving. I do not know what that shadow is on the ceiling. It could be what's on that medical table. There is something on it. It is shaped very strangely. Again, these furniture items are not going to spawn in until that door is triggered to open. But when you go in this room, you are definitely bumping up against everything that's in this room. There are already barriers there and shadows. Here's another look at the cabinet that's on the left side of the stool and medical table. Obviously, you can't tell what's on the shelves but it looks like it might be a glass type cabinet. Here's a look at the table to the right of the medical table. And this just looks like it's a medical cart and then it's got the two candles on it. Next thing I'm gonna show you guys is some reflections that I was able to capture when I was in the room. There is a little window on that door that we're gonna be going in. And I was able to move around a bunch and catch some glowing objects. I'll zoom in a little bit right here. So yes, those two blue glowing objects 100% exist in this room and I don't know what they are. We definitely need to get the door open to find out. I was able to move around the room and those blue glowing objects stayed on that door and it moved around based on where I was standing, but I just stood in this spot because you could see it really good in that window. So there's definitely something going on directly behind me. And again, it's not gonna spawn in and we won't be able to see it until we open the door. But we're definitely seeing the reflection of what it is before it is actually there. We've certainly tried a lot of things to get this door to open. And one thing I thought was really odd and kind of stood out were those power panels in that zombie spawn like could that be linked to this we've messed around with it a little bit but so far obviously we found nothing we obviously need a lot more people trying stuff because this is going to be something completely random. There's no logic behind it. We just got to do the right combination of something to get it to open. Right here, you can see that I'm bumping up against the furniture and the barriers that are already there. So they have the barriers, the lighting, the shadowing, and everything set up. They just don't have the furniture rendered in yet. Another huge clue that we're getting in this room is that there's no death barrier. Treyarch loves the death barrier everything. So if there's 
there's an area that's not death barriered, then that's where we're going to be able to play. Now, I know we're going to have a really busy week next week. And so I wanted to try to get this out there before next week happens. But if you guys find anything, definitely let me know. I'm excited to see what kind of ideas you guys have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video. Thank you for watching Glitching Queen's video. Oorah!